So what brings us to the event is um, scaling the Colony platform, which um, we are halfway through implementing in terms of the white paper. Um, and currently our most um, intensive operation on chain is uh, creating and managing a task uh, through its life cycle. Um, which currently costs in the range of $3, $3 uh, for the life cycle end to end, uh, which we believe is probably too high to be uh, scalable, and uh, we're looking to solve that. Yeah, my voice is quite low, so I, I can I can I can speak up maybe. So generalized state channels uh, in terms of what counterfactual are doing uh, was probably the, the biggest thing I learned today because there's very little out there, I think, still on the topic. Um, it's what I'm personally most looking forward to in the long term. Um, I also got to meet David Knott as well from um, the Plasma from Omisego team, so that was great. Um, and of course everyone else. But uh, I got to work actually one-to-one -one with uh, Max and Bjorn from Parity, uh, which has been great as well. Sure, so I think in general what the choices people currently have today is uh, pretty much comes down to a, a choice between uh, the parity bridge against the POA network, whether it's uh, uh, what POA network guys are, are doing privately or whether it's something we can do collaboratively with the community on Kovan or another private chain, or something that potentially Funfair will be releasing in terms of opening up the source code in. Um, a few weeks apparently uh, in terms of generalized state channels today uh, just a version that um, we can use and implement today so they announced they're going on mainnet soon um, so I'm looking forward to that as well but potentially these are the only two realistically that we can have today and it's gonna be one of the two sorry can you repeat Yes, because what we are looking to do uh, is scale a life cycle of a task where we have a limited number of participants, namely three, uh, which have a numerous transactions between them until they settle state. And that's really a user case for state channels. Like if you speak to David and describe that case, he would just say, state channels, man. <laughs> so yeah. I was really looking forward to this because DEF CON uh, really once a year is not enough for this community to interact and flourish. So we, I think we cherish every opportunity we get to meet with the people and speak with them face to face. It's enormously produ productive having these like brainstorming sessions and Q&A sessions on a, uh, a narrow topic that we all care about. It's very different doing it on Gitter or Riot or GitHub. So the in-person meetings is something we'll probably need longer term in terms of uh, discussing topics around governance, especially EIPs and um, that they get proposed, I think, quite frequently nowadays. So there's a lot of new standards and um, yeah, mainly standards that get proposed all the time that we all need to keep track of and potentially will benefit from a discussion like this. So this is probably the first of many more, probably not just by giveth, but yeah, kudos to Griffin, you guys for doing it. It was great. No, you guys covered it.